This podcast is a part of the Podmania Podcasting Network. Check out podmania.co.uk to check out more of our great podcasts, features, reviews, match ratings and previews spanning the crazy and diverse world of professional wrestling. Hello, my name is Simon Miller from What Culture Wrestling and you are listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast and you better keep listening to it. Why? Here's why. You're listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast, a sample of the best pro wrestling podcasts we can produce on our tiny budget. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, CastBox, and all other podcast platforms. If it's wrestling you want, check out more of our great content at podmania.co.uk. Let's do this. Welcome to another episode of the Pod Mania Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Goodwin, and I'm joined as ever by Garth Jackson and Chris O'Brien. Garth Jackson, of course, our resident luchador. Garth, how are you? <laughs> booyaka, booyaka. Um... <laughs> Garth, one, nan. <laughs> I'm good, yeah. Uh, looking forward to another night of wrestling. Just watch the the latest episode of The Mandalorian, which was fucking fantastic. I'm only three episodes in. <laughs> I watched all oh, of man. season one. This, I haven't watched all of season two yet. It's uh, episode five, I think, now. All right. Good shit. Some good characters show up. <laughs> good shit. It's good shit, man. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. I've been watching The Crown. Um, so we just finished that. <laughs> Everyone has. Oh, it's fucking wa- class. Absolutely amazing. I've been watching Doctor Who. And Scooby-Doo, apparently. It's a nice thing to fall asleep to, especially what's new Scooby-Doo. The episodic format means you're never really lost if you just skip an episode. It's great. What's new Scooby-Doo? We're coming after you. We're going to solve that mystery. Oh, simple plan. You massive sellouts. I, I do love that. That's probably that's the only simple plan song I like, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Simple Plan was my jam yeah. in the early 2000s. Um, but in the early 2000s, I was, what, five? Three so and a half, yeah. Bowland. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another watch along. Um, last week, of course, we did a Survivor Series special. This week, it's more of a random format. So, we've each chosen three matches that we either want to watch that we've never seen before or some of our favorites in the case of Garth's first pick. And it is with Garth Mysterio Jr. that we start this, <laughs> mo- this podcast. Garth, <laughs> what have you chosen and why the fuck have you chosen it? Um. <laughs> I've gone for the North American Championship ladder match uh, from New Orleans Takeover 2018 because it was just a fucking hell for leather, good fun match with loads of daft spots and yeah, the reign of um, Adam Cole began. Tommy, it did <laughs> when we. When we first started this watch along thing, um, we set up some ground rules. One of which was stick, if you're going to have a long match, stick to around the 25 ish minute range, which Garth Jackson has very much flaunted. Blown out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of what, the four weeks we've been doing this? I mean, if we fast forward past the entrances. Oh, no, mate. If we're doing this properly, we do it fucking properly. <laughs> we're, like, we're in it on, like, in or out, all or nothing. Exactly. I yeah. mean, to be honest, I'm only here because I want to see Killian Dane's entrance. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I want to see ec Free's entrance. This class. Oh, the one percent. What a fucking entrance. What a wasted talent as well. What a wasted. Also, when you... hello. Go on. Hello. And see, also, uh, you can never hear the undisputed era tune enough times. Oh no, absolutely not. I mean, you look at the participants in this match. How the fuck was this a five star match? Killian Dane, <laughs> EC3, <laughs> Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan. Exactly. <laughs> I will defend Big Demo to the fucking grave. Killian Dane is great. In fairness, Killian Dane is great. He's not in the upper echelon of wrestling, though, is he? For, you know, for whatever reason. He's not a top tier talent. Still not a top tier talent in NXT now, which, is, uh, which is a shame. We should probably get on with a match, but. <laughs> 
Yeah, this match is a long one, guys. So if you want to find your WWE Network or your illegal streaming service and find WWE NXT TakeOver New Orleans, uh, skip to five minutes and nine seconds and we'll start the podcast. We'll start the watch along in a moment. Um, I think this one we reviewed, actually, Garth, like way back in the archives of Podmania. Oh, yeah. We did, definitely, I. Yeah, before... So the, I remember absolutely loving it. Yeah, before the Chris invasion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Chris version. The Chris version. Uh, the, Chris version. <laughs> the CWO. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get to the minute that I said, five minutes and nine seconds, we will press play in three, two, one, play. The following. Oh, okay. oh, I thought he was going to do one fall, but we can't. I, can, I, I can't because it's a lot of match. One fall. <laughs> <laughs> do we like the North American belt? I love it. It looks so classy. It looks like a boxing belt. Yeah, I like it. I, I like it because it's different. Yeah, but like again, I, I think I mostly like it because it looks like an oh, actual belt. What a belting fucking tune this is I mean he shouldn't be a face with that tune but you know <laughs> look at that back Nebo <laughs> hey E <laughs> C three how much of his TNA run did you guys see um, I saw like not the, a lot. when he first when he first started and <laughs> like up to when like Bully Ray was power bombing um, Dixie through tables table. and shit, yeah. Um, I remember because I, I TNA was basically mostly what I watched when he came in, and yeah, it was he he was like so cool, like not just like the best that we've ever seen, and then with Rock Sarsford. Oh yeah, brilliant. <laughs> it was the, his, his promos were really good. Like his in ring stuff wasn't amazing. No, but like but, he was in there with like Kurt Angle, so it didn't have to be. Yeah. Like, it's one of the few times where someone being limited in ring hasn't been that detrimental to them. Yeah. Especially since his character. Sorry. Oh, look at those abs. Sorry. He looks like he's chiseled from fucking stone. Mm-hmm. He, he can great cheese on those abs. He <laughs> is, like, Vince's, like, wet... Like, Vince's wet dream, isn't he? Yeah. I don't understand how they fucked him up so badly. You could say that for literally everyone in this match, apart from one guy who who brought it on himself. <laughs> well, you know, we'll we'll go, I'm sure we'll get to that. <laughs> I love as an ICW fan, I have an affinity for this dude. I am a big fan of his variant of the Sanity theme. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Just like with a little penny whistle in the background, it's great. Yeah. Have you seen videos of him Do, like when he first started mountains? and he's like properly skinny? And really? it's weird. Yeah. I was, like I was in the second row for a match he had in ICW when he like came back as a surprise and oh my god, he is even more imposing in real life. But hmm. apparently he's like an absolute sweetheart. The Tends system. To be yeah, like bam bam's the same. Bam bam bam. Got a tenter as well. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Apparently Vader was a piece of work, though. And he stunk. Yeah, apparently he stunk. <laughs> to be fair, if I looked at Dick Vader and had to come up with a smell. <laughs> oh, there's Britt Baker. <laughs> ah, there we go. At least she's not looking shocked in the front row. That is true. Oh, Britt Baker, the current DDT Iron Man um, champ, 24-7 champion. How is she? Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, come back in like three weeks. That's probably going to change. Actually, come back in three minutes and it's probably changed. <laughs> the belt's been held by three different ladders. Oh, oh we, we don't get, get the boom. boom. <sighs> and it's interrupted by the under-18 dream. The, dream. the under-18 dream. I'm never going to get sick of that. He's selling Naomi's fucking tights, the bastard. Hmm. He genuinely had the world at his feet, didn't he? Like, he could have been the next... I don't want to throw out comparisons, really, but he could have been the next macho man, couldn't he? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. like get like, and I've never seen someone give me such Prince vibes. He's more Prince than Prince was at points. Oh yeah, the Purple Prince. <laughs> yeah, the Purple Prince. But like, is what is he doing now? Then is he still in NXT? Yeah, yeah. Like they've kind of take. I think they've taken him off TV again because when he was facing Kushida, a lot of people like a lot of heat was being brought on him. So I think they're mm-hmm. waiting for that to go away. They turned but Kushida be... he- to Kushida heel by having him destroy the Velveteen Dream, and what it did was made him more of a face. Yeah, he just tapped out Timothy Thatcher, the Kushida. Half a board lock. Yeah, yeah, and Fucking vicious, I'm not sure how I is. feel about that. Oh, Can you <laughs> see the whole thing at the bottom? <laughs> did you see? Did you see the, like, yeah, the yeah. aspect <laughs> ratio at <laughs> <in> the bottom? <laughs> to, to be fair, I'm not even being funny. All three Ring of Honor events I've ever been to, the laptop they used to get the graphics on the screen, they forgot to plug in, so it get, just came up on the screen. Oh. Low battery. <laughs> 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 Amazing. Christ, he looks like an Amish sex pest, doesn't he? Why are we getting so close to his nipples? Like, we <laughs> got obscenely very... close. What again? Stop that. it! He he has really pronounced nipples. He does. His fucking thighs are massive. He is. I could live in one. I could cut one open like a fucking tom tom and live in it. I could live in one. Who fucking says that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to have me between his thighs. Yes. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, he's so cool. Another man that the WWE failed to get over somehow. I'm not being, I'm, and I'm so mad because I'm not being funny. If he had the same opportunities in Japan as Osprey's had, he'd be better. Oh, yeah. Ricochet at his peak is fucking incredible. The whole entrance and everything's cool as fuck as well. Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, "Hey, you're going to lose now." Hey, you know that really cool that move is... that we don't want you to use it... all the time? We want you to use it all the time? Oh, okay. Isn't he like. Uh, isn't he tag teamed with uh, Alistair Black now or something? Uh, Se- no, no, he was, was tagged with but... Cedric. Then then Cedric joined MVP's thing, didn't he? To be fair, also with Ricochet, it's not even like he was held back because he looked like a fucking star. Well, like. The thing is with people like him, it's like, just let them do what they've done. Like, don't try and fucking do anything. Just. The reason they're here is because they've been fucking amazing worldwide on Lucha Underground, etc. Just let them do why you brought them here. Fucking, I hate that shit. Because that's the thing that shows how versatile how Ricochet is. Everyone has a dip, a, like a different favorite Ricochet. Mm-hmm. But the funny, <laughs> yeah, no, but the funny bit in, print, in PWG where he was wearing his Prince Puma tights against uh, Mighty Skill, and Mighty was like, "I know who you are." No, he don't. <laughs> But your mm-hmm. prince, don't say it. Don't say. It. I remember the crowd saying, um, chanting "We love kayfabe," and just Chuck Taylor on commentary going, "No, you don't. If you're chanting that, you do not." Big boss man there, lifting the uh, belt up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> who did he want to win at the time? Uh, I can tell you. I can tell you exactly who we wanted to win, or who we thought was going to win, because I've got all our predictions right here. <laughs> oh no I haven't Green. oh how I'm disappointing sure. I didn't start recording Go them until Bound for Glory 2018 fuck <laughs> when it was the three of us I think Garth went for EC3 you know no Garth went for Dream <laughs> Garth went for Dream I I was, I was all up in the Dream at that time <laughs> <laughs> you're a bit old for him I know I was in the sea wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was old enough to be the dad of the girl he was courting to be fair I think I was either rooting for Dane because ICW or Ricochet because Ricochet I think I'd got I think I went for Ricochet Ross Sullivan for me one of the most baffling pushes ever it's not baffling to me he's massive yeah I was just going to say he's he's Vince's wet dream as we said earlier yeah but but I'm not being funny. Like, how many big men did we have in NXT at the time, and we were pushing him? There we go. Because he's like that, he's like that freakish monster, isn't he? Again, he looks like he's about to raise a band. Do you remember oh, yeah, the yeah. moment where Ricochet got really fucking over in NXT? That moment he did that flip and just landed on his feet in front of Velveteen Dream. 
And, no, and then just walked up to the mic and said, uh, "Dream over or something." Dream like, over, yeah. Because I remember that. Because I like around this time I was actually still watching NXT weekly because Ring of Honor had declined <laughs> a lot. So I was like, "Fuck that! I'm gonna watch NXT." And all he did, that's all he did, and he was over as fuck. Yeah. It's amazing. That, oh, dear. That oh, dear, Velveteen. Well. What are you doing there, lad? What are you doing? What are you doing with the ladder, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like, amateur, just let me do it. <laughs> Can we... I'm literally just looking at this in awe of how they managed to fuck up literally everyone in this yeah, match. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well... The Dream kind of did it himself. No, the Dream did it to himself, as did Lars Sullivan. But everyone else what, just fucked up. Was the Dream, like, was he ultimately found guilty of whatever happened? Yes. Um. Yeah, it's, he got away with it through a loophole. Fuck's sake. Yeah. What, what, because was it, like, different at the time... Different state or something? No, at yeah, the like, time, there's a... Because he was 22, and the girl he was texting... Or the lad, I can't remember if it was a girl or a lad he was texting, um, was... Were they 16, Chris? I think so. But I don't. This, because I don't there was the a certain amount of years between them, and it literally just mm. fell in that category. It basically came across as creepy and not illegal. Basically, look. Think of what Joe. Think of a Joe Coffee more than like a. I, I can't think. I don't want to think of an attribute. Yeah, let's, we'll just like, move let's on. not. Uh, <laughs> actually, I just realised we have. The thing is about Cole. They haven't fucked him up. He's just sort of. Dude. What the fuck was it? No, that's the thing. I'm bored of Adam Cole at this point. I'm bored of the like um, war games they tr- they force on it every year. Yeah. Do you know what though? Genuinely, you've got Adam Cole, who I'm not bored with. I'm just, you know, I've he's got nothing left to do in NXT. He's done everything. Yeah. Um, you've got yeah. Johnny Gargano. Look at this show. You've got Johnny Gargano, who at this point, aside from Adam Cole and Ricochet, is the most over thing in the company. Oh, that's a lovely slam. Um, and yeah, now, I love Gargano at this point. And now everyone's bored of him. The only one that people aren't bored of is probably Champa. Because mm-hmm. he goes away all the time. He kept getting injured. Which, weirdly, is probably the best thing that could have happened to him in a weird way. Go on, no, lad! Thing, cause... Oh, <laughs> how can we miss you if you never go away? Sanity were fucking great, though, and then they went up to the main roster, and it's just... How did... Disapp- completely disappeared. Yeah, just book them against the Wyatt family. That's all you had to do. Just think about a Sanity versus Wyatt family feud. That would have been fucking incredible. I mean, well, you had, like, eight matches built into that straight away. Yeah, exactly. They've all sort of done... They've all kind of done well for themselves outside of Sanity, though, which sort of proves how good they are. Like, Imperium, um, Alexander Wolfe is there. Um... Killian Dane's a killer monster in NXT. Um, Eric Young's Impact Champion right now. Oh no, he lost it to Rich Swan. Um, Swan, didn't he? He's Swan, the champion, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm ask- I thought you'd know. You're the, you're a resident TNA guy. I haven't. I haven't watched it for um, quite a while at the minute. <laughs> um, the only f- um, it's weird because like sometimes I get the in- inclination to watch Impact and then I see something and it's like I'm glad I didn't watch Impact. Like, and this week is the week for every bro out Hornswoggle to make fun of AJ Styles. Oh, and so <laughs> that's that's going back to sort of carny, yeah, uh, stuff. that's like you don't need to do that. Like you and really don't. Like because you can tell it's one of those Carl Anderson ideas that should have just never. I uh, because like. When people talk oh, about now, even out. people who don't normally talk Jesus. about like out, TNA, it's like even like people like Jericho who never normally watches it, he says like he's been checking out and it's a really good product. It's a decent like, week. It's a decent weekly. Yeah, you're gonna get a like good e- match. easy watch wrestling, but now it's like mm-hmm. they're gonna do shit like that. It's like see this at the time, I was like, fuck now, this is amazing. Like with the ladder. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, he's just doing Terry Funk spots. <laughs> <laughs> But then not taking a massive huge bump himself. <laughs> yeah, not dying. You know. <laughs> and splitting his head open. To be fair, whenever I do like an NXT um, universe mode, and it would be 2K18 at the time, um, I'd use Lars Sullivan to put Jeff Cobb over. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Velveteen takes a big bump, fucking prick. 
<laughs> but yeah, like to be fair, that's what it's like every time. Like I turned on NXT UK um, for the, in the lead up to Walter versus Dragonoff, and like someone came on like Devlin prick coffee prick just. <laughs> Just, I'm not being funny. Even like on site alone, you'd push Ricochet over Sullivan just from looking at them, wouldn't you? To be fair, if you're going to push anyone in this match on looks alone, you'd probably push Ishii three. Well, he, I, well, he, he's literally, yeah, it's literally just. Um, well, it depends what you're looking for. Because if you're looking like for a killer monster, you'd probably pick Dane. Or Sullivan. <laughs> he can't. Really well, Sullivan it. does actually look like. He's got like that overly large head. Like uh, he just looks strange. <laughs> Kelly and Dane Fucking look like hell, the guy who used to run. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh, oh, Jesus! Kelly and Dane's got my got my uh, physique and also body hair. <laughs> he's got he, he's got my beard and hair. It's like a mixture of me and you. <laughs> yeah. He's the gardener's hybrid. The bastard I'm... child. <laughs> I literally once had someone shout at me at a WWE live event, oh my god, it's Killian Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Which, it was like, damn, I didn't know it was that fucking big, Jesus. In my in my, my formative youth, I once got called Gaz Coombs. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you fair, like, I don't know if anyone else can relate to this, but you have long hair and a beard, um, you'll get called a million different things at wrestling events. Jesus. Oh, like, yeah. No, but well, no, that was at a reggae festival. Um, <laughs> who the fuck attends a reggae festival? I was volunteering. At a reggae festival? Yeah, because the guy who ran the studio in my college um, was putting it on and was like, does anyone want to volunteer? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll volunteer. Why not? I Sound volunteer as tribute. No, it's funny because Soundtrack was Soundcheck was hilarious because um, they'd brought in some like actual Jamaican reggae bands, and the guy was like, "More bass, more bass!" And the Soundcheck was like, "We physically cannot give you more bass," and all <laughs> he was shouting was "More bass!" It's weird because like I'm looking at this, and we're representing different aspects of like the indie scene from like two years before this. Yeah. Like, you have Ring of Honor, TNA, New Japan, Lucha Underground, the British oh, Indies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the look on Adam Cole's face is brilliant. <laughs> oh, Yoshi, go Yoshi! <laughs> That's mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, Adam Cole is, like, underrated as a comedic wrestler. He's got great comedic oh, timing. Um, like, when I saw him at a... Oh, Christ. When I, saw him, at, when I saw him at a Walt, Co- Here you Walt go. Culture event... Here you go. Oh, Adam Cole! Adam Cole, baby! baby! Um, everyone chant. It was, it like, him versus Lethal versus Maguero, and everyone's name got chanted. Then he was just like, they chanted my name first, so I win. <laughs> Oh. The stairway to heaven. Ah, oh, Maro, I miss you. <laughs> you know my favorite. Like I like it when they make music references. Like big when Braun Strowman was like jobbing out. Well, jobbers every week. Um, what's his face? Corey Graves kept making a different panda a Pantera reference. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that was a vulgar display of power. Fucking hell. Halfway across the ring. I know. I am a fan of the Velveteen Dreams tights. I'm just going to go there. He, he always has good tights. He does, but the, these are especially nice with the New Orleans theme. Yeah. And to be, yeah, he's good at like looking good. Apart from his hair looks like he, ch- he touched an electrical outlet. <laughs> it always seems to go like that. Oh, round the back. He does, he, he does have good form with his elbow drop. Mix it, mix it like so, like more meaningful. <laughs> what the form? The fire, uh, yeah, like the and the weight that seems to carry more than like a normal. Because not many people really do elbow drops anyway, do they? Now, 
Bailey. Yeah. That's it, really, isn't it? <laughs> Kyrie oh, saying. Oh, fucking hell. Ow. Who has the but best elbow not. ever, and I will argue with anyone who disagrees. CM Punk. Who? <laughs> no, but um, Kyrie <laughs> saying. Her elbow is fantastic, to I be mean... fair. Do... Oh, oh okay. you're going to say Macho who... Man. Yeah, fair enough. Who... Oh, here I'm he not going to say Macho Man, actually. No, I was going to say. Harry who? Young. Of all people who are normally here, HBK had a really good fine elbow drop. He does have a good elbow He does, drop, very good but... form. Because he... Because his always, he always goes over the body and lands like backwards. Yeah. I like that shit. Oh fucking hell! Oof. I remember watching that live and going, Jesus, that's high. Yeah. From one actual deviant to the other. <laughs> Diff- very different reasons. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very different. One did it. Last Sullivan's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? <laughs> He's been in someone's ringer. <laughs> It's the worst gay joke I've ever heard in my life. That's almost as bad as the one JR told at G1 Supercard where he was, where Juice Robinson was like wearing rainbow. It's like, and Josh Barnett was like um, wearing rainbow, really big with women. It's like, well, he's maybe he's wearing rainbow because he wants to be big with the men. <laughs> you know. Maybe on night, uh, EC3 is tight. Say again? Oh, yeah. Very on night, uh, EC3 is very, yeah. very flash. He looks like an, in- he looks like an Instagram influencer. <laughs> Vile. <laughs> More than just two of um, Garth's least favourite words. Alongside, <laughs> alongside Heartbreak Kid in Battle <laughs> If you listen to the NXT monkey. crowd, like none of EC3's moves are over. No, well, EC because he's a bad, he's not a good wrestler. <laughs> he's all flash, isn't he? Yeah, he's all pomp and circumstance. Because <laughs> like ec is a good entrance, but nobody wants him to win this match. <laughs> and just as I say, no moves are over. I mean, anything coming Huge off the pop. top of... TKO from Mark... the ladder. Even Mark Andrews' theme is over when it's going to into a ladder match. Whoa! Uh... Some of them the crowd's wearing Bret Hart glasses. Yes, I did see that. Is it you, got? Legend. Well, I still remember I Black... Po- I still remember Blackpool when we were doing that and Garth just looked at us with disgust. <laughs> <laughs> what was his favourite wrestler? The favourite with the favourite entrance tune. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Killian lad. He's a big. I like. I'm honestly scared when blood is gonna snap. Uh, oh no! Oh Christ! Is buffering? No. Potato throw. Has he got blood on his head? <laughs> I like when a move happens and one of us just calls the move. Right, game position. Come on, EC3. I mean, ooh, ooh. I mean that's not pleasant for either person to take, sent on onto the ladder. <laughs> no, it's, it's one of those moves where you're like... Who does this benefit? It's like the the elbow drop onto the ladder. I've never, ever, ever understood. Because it's only ever going to hurt the person giving it. Ever. Oh, like, you know what really got me? Was Shane, this one did uh, really um, Irish Curse Backbreaker onto... Uh, onto the steps and it's like what you've done Seamus is drive your knee into oh, some steel. Oh my god! <laughs> fucking oh. hell! Like, Adam Cole had no agency where he was going to land there. <laughs> like, n- no agency whatsoever. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm like, what? you know what's funny? Adam Cole wrestles again tonight. Oh, that's right, huh? 
Oh I yes, mean, he's he in the tag match, match isn't is he? Is this the night where? Um, yeah, it's for one. This is the night where thingy turns, isn't it? Yeah, um, Roddy Strong. That, Roddy that was Strong, such yeah. a good turn. That was such a good uh, turn. It's one of those ones where we kept it, up, but where we put it off for so long that we just assumed it was never going to happen. I, I, I love and, that. And Strong needed it because my God, is he boring as a baby face? Oh, he was just nothing, wasn't he? Yeah, just he like he had a good series of Bobby Roode, but it was quite hard not to be good next to Bobby Roode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not finished with you. <laughs> what um what mania was this for? Thirty four. Is this thirty three? Thirty four. Thirty four. What happened to thirty four? Reigns and Lesnar oh, shit the bed. One where, um, what's oh the one with the kid won the that was the name? one. Are they playing like the child? Are they playing Ricochet shot? Won the tag titles. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. Mm-hmm. Just ping pong with Ricochet. <laughs> oh Christ! It's turned into New Japan. Oh, eat that! <laughs> you know, well, after um, we watched that Stan Hansen match last year with Vader, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just mm. scared when big, big men hit each other too hard in case for eye comes out. Because. <laughs> To be fair, Oof. that is strength. That is that strength, is... to be fair. <laughs> Homage to Mark Henry. Chin, you thought you were going to say Mark Andrews, then. <laughs> Fabledly strong <laughs> Mark Andrews. <laughs> He's like a worker. Uh... <laughs> mm. Oh, Question. Do, you, do they have to pay extra to get those sort of stripes and the ladder? Yes. Uh, probably. <laughs> I really appreciate the Lars Sullivan what? is playing homage to Stone Cold Steve Austin with his neck with his uh, knee brace. <laughs> <laughs> so is Ricochet so knee brace as well. Ooh, I think they might just be knee pads. Half of the oh, yeah. Lost so my, yeah, that is true. My um, my video quality is potato right now, so. <laughs> Oh, this oh. is a spot. This is a spot. Oh, what a beautiful. Spot. Fucking Oof. beautiful. And they fucked this guy's push over. How? How? If they were never going to push him on main roster. And I don't know why they bothered taking up the main roster at that point. He could have been the new Rey Mysterio. Yep, easily. I mean, this is fucking been... lunacy. That is fucking <laughs> lunacy. We haven't seen Velveteen Dream for an astronomically long amount of time. You know what? I'm completely fine with that. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> Mostly Chopper because I might, I might say something you have to edit out. Oh, fucking... <laughs> taking hints from Kenta Kabashi there, Jesus. Oh, handy. EC3 falling onto the ladder. Oh, how, <laughs> how very nice of you. I guess I'll just have to do this. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to do something fucking stupid. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. None of that. None of that. I, I, some, I sometimes bang my knee on my bed and it wrecks me for yeah. the day. <laughs> Treading a plug and I'm done for the week. Lego. Stop, oh, stop, Lego. Like, fuck Lego. Lego can fuck off. I... <laughs> they say the only thing I've... that can cut glass is diamond. Fuck off. Have you ever had a stick of Lego? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. Big right hand. You don't know what you don't want to know what else he's done about right hand. <laughs> yeah, he's written letters. Texting, in, uh, texting inappropriately. <laughs> texting with one hand, wandering with the other. Brushed his teeth. <laughs> Strange from the top. Now I'm gonna stop now. That almost looked organic. That bridge. Oh, you fucked it all, <laughs> Velveteen. Oh, you. F- I remember. What, so I remember close. watching that. You had such. You, you made it organic and you fucked it up. 
He had one job, Dream. <laughs> you fu you fucked it up, Marvin. WWE fucked up Ricochet. <laughs> oh, I, d I do remember this. Fucking hell. To be fair, though, like most of these guys are making their debut. Um, it's Ricochet in EC3, isn't it? Yeah, and this is like Dream's second takeover and like Cole's third or something. So like, if you're going to like do stupid shit, this is where you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Eat that, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, Mr. My, leg. Mr. Struggle. my leg! My <laughs> leg! Uh, don't you just hate it when you're meant to be tight roping oh, along with ladder and your leg falls through? <laughs> that relatable feeling. It's like if the leg's no, caught in the falls, it's none like of a soft leg. Oh. oh! It still oh, baffles no me now error. how he hit that. Because his legs are all over the place as he's holding that. Velvety, priestly fucking Velvety, Velvety, Velvety. Do you feel that? I've never felt the feel about this Death Valley driver because it looks cool, but like just do a normal one. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a cool hurts. looking what? move. <laughs> And I'm just Ooh. and and um, he's the shit on him at this point. Did everybody see the Undertaker's final thing at Survivor Series? No, I haven't yet. No, not yet. Right, he comes out right, and I don't know why they've never ever done this before because it looked cool as fuck. But where where the steps normally were in the corner, they had this little lift that like lifted him up, oh, so it yeah. like he was floating <laughs> up to the ring. And you I was like, why have they never done that you before? You couldn't it? walk up the steps. But it looked class. Um, it was brilliant. Like, And then they had a little um, hologram of um, Paul Bearer. Right, so good. right in the field. <laughs> totally. But you can see oh, as well, he, uh, he did like a little... Ooh! Did a little promo oh, at the end. And it, he was... You could tell he was like struggling <laughs> to keep it together, like... EC3's <laughs> face. Sorry, I was just laughing at EC3 <laughs> selling of it. Just <laughs> he's class. This match is so good. good but... he's, another one. He's... <laughs> he's another one whose comedy is, is brilliant. Like this is like some of the comedy stuff he was doing Imagine. in there. Uh, like Impact was brilliant. Yeah. This is one of those matches where I've managed to forget that Percy Watson is on commentary. I'll be honest, I've been listening to the commentary, I'm really... mate. I've never really been that bothered. I'm... I love that WWF shirt with a panda with a steel chair. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I keep almost buying one of them and I never do. Oh, well, yeah, on the uh, Undertaker thing as well, Vince uh, introduces him, come out, and Vince is like blatantly just ready to blare his eyes out as well. <laughs> Fucking get in, lads! Come I, on! I don't think Vince feels. Sorry, Newcastle won two <laughs> 0 <laughs> Scored in the last. They've scored one two nil. One two nil. Scored the two in the last two minutes. Joel Linton's fucking thought... scored. Wow! And we got beat off them. Oh, oh that fucking hell! Ooh, that's fucking horrible. That was unnecessary. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. And I'm glad that happened because otherwise you two might start talking about football and I just might as well go make a cup of tea while that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it just never happens. Newcastle never win, so. I thought they were meant and to be a good team. Well, they fuck. They're dog shit. <laughs> Got a good manager, though. Fuck off. Hang on. Let me... Uh, <laughs> let... <laughs> this is this is what my brother sent me. Um, so there was, a, there was a tweet that went out and it said... It was from Lee Ryder, who's like the uh, one of the 
journalist Steve Bruce, who's the Newcastle manager, confirms that the Newcastle squad has been hit with COVID issues. Steve Bruce says two or three individuals are self-isolating. To which someone's tweeted underneath, I wish Steve Bruce was isolating the overcooked shepherd pie-faced bacon meth. Which just... <laughs> just proper, proper fucking tickled me. Because he does look like a melted shepherd's pie. Uh, it, it's brilliant how um, one of my friends um, shared one of his history things on Facebook and it was he said it's, it's funny how history comes back to bite you in the arse and it was when uh, Steve Bruce had been sacked from Sunderland oh yeah and he wrote Steve Bruce in at Newcastle oh, and God. then obviously like all these years later fucking <laughs> hell he said yeah I shit come back to come back to haunt us <laughs> so wrestling <laughs> so Lars Sullivan is on the ladder and and in a perfectly Everyone straight way, dead. his legs are fucking massive. I know he's thick, isn't he? He is. He's thick with two C's. <laughs> Whatever that oh, means. He's thick. That's what. That's what. That's what. Is he fat? Is he? Is he fat with a pH? As oh well? yeah, fat. God yeah. Thick with two C's is in like a sexy way. Oh, is he? Sure. Why not? He's got sexy legs. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> right on the arse. <laughs> And again, <laughs> just prodding with it. I am Oh, I remember this spot. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this I like spot. It a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> just like you sound like Captain Hope from Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's like I, I remember this spot, and I liked it. <laughs> Bone! Like straight, as, straight face as fuck. Fucking love that man. Come on, Ricochet. Where are you? <laughs> Fall brother. I love that EC3's just in a big headlock. I bet you that fucking stinks. I as bet he well. does, yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Killian Dane is one airy youth. Big sweaty hairy bastard. Oh, fuck it, that fire. <laughs> If he shaved his um, Back, hair face, just enough, hair. he could be like a walking razor blade. <laughs> He's got it. Come on, Dream. <laughs> you know who wins, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck's buying into it. Fucking ring piece. <laughs> <laughs> It's like most people who like tape old football Ooh. matches and goes, come on, man, I'm watching the game. Did he land head oh, first on, on the, the bottom rope? rope? Jesus Christ. Yeah, and he's I dead. I thought the fucking... Um, it speaks a lot when we have a Hiromu match as our main event tonight, and that's probably not going to have the sickest bumps. Where the wreck are you? Slap! No. <laughs> oh, oh fucking hell, Jesus! Velveteen Dream has got no control over how he lands there at all. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, my back I'm is really heavier. Really breaks his ass. Awesome. No, my legs are thicker. <laughs> no, my beard is better. My beard is better. I don't know why you'd bother getting into the beard thing with Killian Dane because it's oh, magnificent. Oh, Jesus Fuck. Christ. He's so close to the rope. What is that tattoo? Why does no one... Are they just peas? What is that tattoo? It, it looks just <laughs> like an it's open pea pod. He... It's probably the barn he built back in Amish land. Amish land. <laughs> I don't know. What's the name? Uh, what's it? Amish country? Is that it? Is he, like, bleeding from his ear? Oh, he is. Oh, he must have clipped it on the rope or something. Oh, God! Oh, oh my no. God! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, my God, that did not go according to plan. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Solomon's just looking at him like, I'm going to fucking get you later. <laughs> Look at his... Is his face split as well? Yeah, this is, this is like... There's a shadow, I can't tell. <laughs> Somebody gone a wig split. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I hate I hate the rope bombs. I really do. Ah, oh, 
It's <laughs> worse. Oh, he's actually climbing the ladder like a ladder. <laughs> no one's around. Adam Cole, baby! <laughs> ba -da -da. <laughs> Bam 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 bam. Better. That match was fucking great. I, like I still remember at Blackpool where we just waited for like an extra ten minutes after the show just to do the boom. Because <laughs> we knew. Does does that make it? Does that make us marks? <laughs> Yeah. We, okay. we, we have a podcast, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, mate, we have two podcasts. Like, I don't know why you thought there would be any que question. Like, Garth turned up in a loot to math tonight. That is true. I'm a shirt. You're wearing an Imperium shirt. Why was this <laughs> ever a question? Right, ladies and gentlemen, let us pause that there. Um, Garth, as good as you remember? Yep. Loved it. Just had everything. Apart from, I suppose, like story, but like <laughs> <laughs> any semblance of story. <laughs> um, just just balls to the wall spot fest, but in a good way. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Chris, what about you? What did you think? Yeah, it's really fun. It's like the best of like the money in the bank style ladder match. Like I can't think of any of that style that really tops it. Maybe the first one, but like. That's about it. Like that's probably the best multi man ladder match this side of um, TLC. So yeah, agreed, one hundred percent. I think everyone pulled their weight in that match. I mean, we joked. I joked about none of EC3's moves been over, but you know, a TKO from the ladder is no easy feat. Um, I think mm -hmm. everyone looked good. Lars Sullivan looked good in there, as you said before. A lot of those people were making their NXT debut in that show, and you couldn't tell. I mean, Ricochet was massively, massively over, which makes it even more sad, the fact that the main roster fucked him up. Dream was... Ma I forgot how over Dream was at one point. Um, yeah, just a really fun, really fun, really impressive match. Um, now, the question is, guys, we gave this 10 stars back in the day, which is obviously a Meltzer 5 star, but far more prestigious. Um, Garth... Are you happy mm -hmm. to keep it staying at 10 stars? Yeah, why not? It's, it's <laughs> like, it's, it's, it is one of the best ladder matches. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Chris, what about you? Yeah, fair enough. I agree. Um, <laughs> um, I couldn't agree more, Chris. Um, I think all your points are valid. Um, I appreciate everything you said there. I fucking internet. Um, and yeah, I mean, fuck you. There was a, you. there was a couple of controversial points you made, but pissing some random shit that he was. Yeah, exactly. I, th I think you paced your argument well. It had its peaks and valleys, but overall, yeah, very well reasoned Can argument. I <laughs> can, can I make my actual point? Yes, yes uh, Velveteen Dream like it is amazing. <laughs> um, Chris, do you still give it ten? Does right. it still stand up? Um, um, I never gave it a ten to begin with. <laughs> You're such a fucking dick. I no, <laughs> like I did because um. I got to the end of the night and like Gagano Tampa had blown me so away so much where I was like, okay, that first match was. I guess for like, which it is, sure, but like for. What I it is probably. It's, I'm probably not the fairest person to rate it. Agreed. Um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> no, I, I. For me, aside from TLC2. That's probably the best ladder match WWE have ever put out. Um, before NXT spammed the ladder button um, and decided they were just going to make every fucking important match a ladder match, I thought it was great. And yeah, I'm perfectly happy giving it 10 stars. 
So, Ew. moving on to our second match of the night, we're going to go with my pick, seeing as Chris has apparently made himself main event tonight. Um, so <laughs> We're not main eventing with Fitz. So We're not main eventing with fucking What Vince. the fuck ever, Chris? You, uh, you take charge of the podcast, mate, whatever. Um... <laughs> No jobs, brother. No jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're looking back at 1997, still in the WWE, um, or the WWF as it wasn't uh, then, looking at In Your House, A Cold Day in Hell. I've always had a bit of nostalgia for these In Your House shows, especially the ones in, like, 1995, where they were a bit shit, but still a bit, <laughs> still enjoyable, um, despite being... A bit. <laughs> utterly shit. Um... The match I've chosen is... Um, full versus or the... <laughs> I've chosen Kem Shamrock versus Vader. Um, it's, I believe, Shamrock's pay-per-view debut. Um, it was billed as a shoot fight, um, sort of to capitalise on Shamrock's MMA standings. I've never seen any of this show, and... I read a review of this show not long ago and they said about how much this match was actually a hidden gem uh, from the In Your House chronology. So I was like, do you know what? This podcast is the perfect chance for me to get hammered and watch it. So that's (laughs) what we're going to do because I'm now three beers deep and we're not even on the second match yet. So, uh, yeah, fair, we yeah. spent about an hour trying to set up today. Yes, we did. We did. So if you want to find In Your House a Cold Day in Hell from May 11th, 1997, and skip ahead to 58 minutes and 37 seconds, that is your match. Um, again, if you're not there yet, just pause the podcast, wait until you are there, then press play again. But boys, are we ready? Ready. Let's shit. It's a Spanish version. Fucking do this. <laughs> Three, two, one, play. The Fink. What a legend. The Fink, get in. One fall. Get out. <laughs> I love all the the rules. <laughs> Um, that looks so 80s can it's I just all say, real what, in my 97 project I've been doing which actually this helps out with um, in your house shows are profoundly frustrating it's shocking <laughs> no because like we don't even have finishes we don't even have proper finishes and half the time we don't even have this set it's the first time I've seen this set on, from a project <laughs> oh, but there with one of his titties hanging out in your house, it always felt like it was like some sort of like halfway pay per view. Mm-hmm. Not even like a, a proper pay per view. Felt like it's basically trying to make you pay for a Saturday night's main event. Yeah. It's just... the setups were always weird as well. It's very clear we were running arenas that weren't set up for like TV. Still selling out. <laughs> Is, is this sold out, Bill? It was hard watching WWE that time. It really was. I think that's why I started, started drinking. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> just because of that, mate. It's just like, uh, this is shit now. I'm just going to start going to the pub and getting pissed. And then I'll watch um, WCW on Channel 5 before I go out. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, I know you want to go out of the last bit. Nitro's on. So... On the seat. I swear to God, like, the lads will be like, oh, six o'clock, we'll meet at the pub. Ah, I might be there a little bit late. I've got something on. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro. <laughs> Watching the NWL, I'll have another funky finish at the end. I'll, 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 I'll meet you there, lads. <laughs> you, all you need to do is watch the first hour. That's where the cruiserweights are. Mm. Ah, tune in for Hogan. <laughs> Shamrock, Hogan Mr. Turn. Charisma. <laughs> that's that's the thing about so many great fighters their <laughs> fucking charisma vacuums no, I, I don't think enough people say up. this how tiny are Shamrock's trunks <laughs> you know gotta emphasise the muscle <laughs> distractingly the dis- muscle <laughs> is that what we're calling it now it's not the, it's not the only thing to emphasise <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
It's certainly not sold out. I've just seen an absolute fucking rook of empty seats. Yeah. <laughs> They're standing like it's fire pro. <laughs> Fight! I like how we basically thought we want to do like shoot style UWF. And um, they were like, you know who should get Vader? <laughs> to be fair, aside uh, from Shamrock, who else are you getting well, put in? Because you haven't got really anyone with any sort of MMA experience in the uh, the roster Brett. in the time. Brett. Botgun. <laughs> Botgun. Botgun. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It's <laughs> my thing's <laughs> buffering. No. Brawl for all winner, Botgun. Um, Steve Absolutely Williams. Not. He... No, Steve Williams doesn't have the company at the Steve time. Williams I don't know what's... Was... Killed. <laughs> Yeah, I can't, I don't know what's happening by the way because my thing's buffering. We'll keep you informed. Oh, God. They're holding hands. Oof. It won't even it won't even play now. I need to refresh the fucking page. <laughs> I can hear it coming through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you give me a time? One hour, oh, two, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. I'm just gonna go Ooh. to one Fucking hour, those kicks. three, fourteen. One hour, two, fifty-one, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. Okay, tell me when you hit. Um, what? Where am I? I I'm just three gonna be. Minutes. One hundred three. One hundred three. I'm on 103. It's hard to tell when you're on a fucking desktop. It's annoying. Oh, one hour three. Tell me when you hit one hour three thirty. Okay. Right. One hour three thirty in ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I can hear. I'm synced up per- perfectly, actually, because I can hit it synced up with whoever's is bleeding through. That's what you want. Have oh. that. Take that. Oh. Take that. It's been a lot of kicks and a lot of grapples, gonna go for... hasn't it? If I... Oh, Fuck it that out. was lovely. That looked more like Vader was doing like a moonsault. It did, yeah. He got proper <laughs> height then, didn't he? What's the thing about Vader, though? He's one of the best big men ever, but he'll bump circles for you. Like, he'll absolutely, like, make himself look like an idiot for you. He's actually oh, yeah. a weirdly selfless wrestler. I mean, like, to be fair, if Stank is bad, is alleged. <laughs> are they... Are they... Are they but advertising the UFC? UFC? <laughs> Yeah, this is before we'd be like prop competition, I guess. This is when Tank Abbott was on it. <laughs> Tank Abbott. <laughs> oh no, Tank Abbott wasn't even in UFC, was he? He was just in the Friends episode that had UFC in it. <laughs> it's just, I'll tell you what, he is fair, tossing is, Vader around like he weighs nothing. It is emulating an MMA fight in the sense of they keep going for the same things. Because <laughs> to be fair, that's a lot of what like shoot style wrestling was, where it's, it's basically circling each other in fighting stance for the first bit of it. He's like, get back in here. <laughs> Should have been born in gladiator <laughs> times. <laughs> Good stuff, Jerry Lawler. Oh, God. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Ken Shamrock is like, I'm not used to this. I'm used to a cage. I made, I made a movie reference and no one's proud of me. <laughs> I heard it. Well, well done. Well, Chris, have you seen the uh, just recently released, or they're just about to release a recut version of Godfather 3? So you might be able to get to watch that when you get out of watching it. Yeah, I'm got, I've already got my month planned out for movies because I'm going to watch Christmas movies. The Gremlins. No, yeah, Gremlins is on there. It's Gremlins, um, Die Hard, oh. Love Actually, and Batman Forever that I'm going to touch on. Batman Returns? 
Yeah, Batman Returns. Sorry, not Batman Forever. <laughs> Batman Forever is the probably my second favorite Batman. Film. Fucking love Batman <laughs> Forever <laughs> with the back credit card. No, that's Batman and Robin. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, that's Batman, Batman and Robin. Yeah, Batman Forever is uh, Jim Carrey is the Riddler. All yeah. that era of Batman kind of melts melts together for me, apart from the '89 film. The '89 film's class. So you're not watching um, Jingle All the Way? Um, mm. I don't. No, I've I've never heard of that. <laughs> It's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger in. Oh, I've, ne- I've definitely yeah, never yeah. heard of it. He has to get Turbo Man for his kid, Jamie. Jamie! Jamie! <laughs> ah, so it's like the Captain Latvia episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And his kid, the kid who played, like his son, is um, Anakin Skywalker. Oh, then I'm definitely not going to watch it. <laughs> Why? Brilliant. Because <laughs> that kid is awful. Ah, it's all right, he's not in it much. Oh, then I'm, I'm interested again. <laughs> oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's amazing. That that is not an image I can get out of my head anytime soon. What Vader mounting Ken Shamrock? Full mount from the back, <laughs> like full, the full on viscera. And thump. To be fair, this is kind of like a WWF-ified version of what we saw in the WXW watch along. <laughs> That's gotta hurt that. What, having Vader on top of you? On top of your arm like that? Yeah, you think that's bad? You should... I feel sorry for his wife. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> oh. He's pinched the Undertaker's move. <laughs> <laughs> Gimmick infringement! Ooh. 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 That was a bit messy. Ooh. That was that was pretty messy. Ow. Yeah. What was that even supposed to be? Was it supposed to be a suplex? Did he whack his face I, off the I, bottom? I, I think something? so, yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Still shaking. <laughs> Jesus. Meant, I think it was meant to be a power bomb, but his legs buckled. So I I know this is gonna sound weird, but the placement of the V on Vader's Ooh. attire is very oh my god. Off putting. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's like off center for some reason. I guess you don't want the V on his ass, but why put a V there? It's like on the uh, WWE games where you make someone you doesn't let you put a logo on the on their ass. <laughs> Does it not? Sometimes it like blurs it. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put it just off center. <laughs> But yeah, the V, I'd, I'd just not bother with the V, to be honest. <laughs> or put it, like, on the side. Yeah, or, like, put it on the front. He's got Vader time on the front. It's time! It's time! <laughs> it's better time! Ooh. How many months <laughs> yes, is it before... How many months is it before Vader's going and he, going, oh, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a big, fat piece of I'm shit. I'm a big, fat piece of shit. And then he, it's weird that because he did that and then went back to all Japan and started wrecking Masawa. Fucking teaming up with Stan Hansen. God, he's like he's glowing like a Thanksgiving turkey is Vader. <laughs> Relevant to our American fans. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Where Vader's just like, bitch. <laughs> ah. What's everyone's favourite Vader match? Couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> I can't really remember many. For me, it's between two. It's between the Hansen match, just because of the sheer. Stan Hansen-ness of it. Like, Stan Hansen punched Vader so hard his eye fell out. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we reviewed it. It's a oh, time. Yeah. Um, oh, the Ric Flair match. Tap, 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 tap. It's great. Oh, he's stealing... <laughs> what is that meant to be? <laughs> is he just lying on his leg? 
No, I think it's on his ankle, to be fair. It's not, it's not just lying there. Uh, oh, all right. I was about to say, some, uh, some Vader's attack strategy is the same as my niece. That's the psycho niece. Uh, <laughs> all my niece are psycho nieces. Just in very different ways. One will hurt your feelings. It is a, a time. Oh, I have my nephew here right now, and um, what, he started doing match? a thing where he... No, oh. not like at this very second. Um, and he's only one, but he started doing this thing where he punches you and he says, ow. <laughs> and I'm like, why are you doing this? He's telling you what to do. <laughs> and then um, he... What did he do earlier? He... Oh, he sat so like I was trying to give him his food, and I was trying to give him. He's like, no, like a cat. It's like, what do you? <laughs> yeah, no, because like yeah, feeding he's, time. For some reason, he's suspicious. He's suspicious because he doesn't think what you're giving him is food. Like a cat. So you're like, look, it's food. <laughs> Stop calling my nephew a cat. <laughs> but he started oh. trying to stuff it in my face. I'm like, no, it's your food. <laughs> Vader Oh, he's going to get hit a power bomb. No. Oh, come on. Oh. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Oh, God, and he got him, still. Oh. Despite moving. Fucking hell. But how, how is Vader the size of a small skyscraper and still has a better moon soap than CM Punk? <laughs> yeah, CM Punk really shouldn't have done no, that. No, ever. He, he, no, even he admitted that, that it was a bad idea. <laughs> The CM like CM like Punk stands for Chrissy like... Moon Salt. It's <laughs> like that time uh, Brock oh. tried to do one. Oh, the shooting star press. No, shooting... Fucking hell. Uh. Oh. Crankety crank, crank, crank. <laughs> a cold day in hell with a hot can of war pass. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. You mark. <laughs> Oh no, not a half Boston crab. Lan a young Lance Storm takes notes. <laughs> Isn't it a no hold barred hey, match? A no holds barred yeah. match? Of course it be. So, do the ropes. So the ref keeps interrupting every move. I know, I was thinking that. Look at that, he's like, he's like get out of here. Fuck off, ref, it's a no holds barred match, you bell piece. Stop trying to get yourself over. <laughs> I've seen that ref somewhere else before. Refing another fucking hell. No. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> so, if they're going for a shoot fight thing, that would be a knockout. This match, I'm not going to lie, has got an extra star just for that fucking ma just for that punch. Nice. And that reversal. Always, st always tapped. Fucking hell. Hey. To be fair, if you. You like it's like that. You should watch um, Grasham versus Ada. Oh well, there you go. And that's that. Carmack wins. That's that, lads. Let's stop it there. Um, well, that was over quicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, let's start with. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Tyler, my sex tape. Chris, what did you think of that? Huh. That was. That was. Not what I expect, because when you hear like shoot fight in WWE, you're sort of like, eh, yeah, this is gonna be shite. But you know, it was fine. We didn't go over the top. We didn't have people wearing fucking boxing gloves or like chain for ring. Basically, it wasn't a brawl for all, which is what I was expecting. Uh. Um, it it was fine. It was good. It was nothing I'm gonna overly remember. But you know, it's not it's not gonna score end up in my worst list for this month. Oh, good. Of my ninety seven projects. Glowing <laughs> praise indeed. Um, Garth Berg, what did you think of this? I liked it. It was good. It was um, there was a lot more wrestling than I thought there would have yeah, been. Yeah, I agree. Um, but it was still good. It was still like fucking that punch at the end and the like Shamrock sort of transitions into moves and stuff was really smooth. Yeah, it was good. And it it, it it seemed to quite it felt quite short. 
I don't think it was, but it felt short. Uh, it was about 13 minutes. Which is I a think. good thing. Yeah, it's good. Chris, the all important rating, yes. what are you giving it? High six, low seven. Okay. Chris, uh, Garth? Yeah, I'll go with seven, yeah. It's good. I was going to go seven. I think that's a good idea. And I think Meltzer gave this three and a half. So, again, we're just so in sync, us and Meltzy babes. So, <laughs> well done, us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we talked about how Garth has been flouting the rules of our watch alongs by choosing matches that are of far too <laughs> long a length. However, Chris has decided he's going to go full smart uh, with what he's chosen. So, Chris... What have you chosen for the watch along this week, and why? Oh, oh sweet baby Rob, but this is not full smart. <laughs> <laughs> Never go full smart, Chris. Never go full smart. Two thousand and seventeen. Never go smart them out. I, I was watching DDT earlier. You think this is? Why were you watching DDT? I because. You know what? DDT is less comedy than you'd think. I was watching Janeth Yama murder, murder someone. Anyway, um, yeah, I picked this. It's Hiromu Takahashi vs. Dragon Lee because it's best of Super Juniors going on right now, but I have no interest in the current New Japan product. So, But I was also like, I want some of that good junior action. I'm missing my baby boy, Hiromu. I'm also missing my other baby boy, Dragon Lee. So I get to see both my baby boys try to murder each other. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I can't... Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, the link to this match is in the description of the podcast. Uh, it's from New Beginning in Osaka 2017. So if you want to find it there, because we ain't watching the one from fucking 2018. No, sir. Absolutely not. Oh, you might want to... There's a bit of a video package, so you might want to skip to two and a half minutes. That's <laughs> absolutely fine. Um, I'm just checking that I have... Oh, no, that's the match VTR. There we go. Have we got English commentary? That is the question. Uh, um, I think we before every show had English commentary. So this one hasn't got English commentary. Good, so we've got Japanese commentary. Superb, never mind. Um, I will just say that I am... Um, that Getting that drunk that I couldn't find the K on the search ending for... New Japan World, so this should go. This should go well, guys. Um, I'm just going to type in my login credentials um, because, again, New Japan has logged me out, probably because you two pikey fucks keep stealing it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> buy your own fucking things. Um, but if you want to find New Japan World, guys, again, it is the new beginning in Osaka 2017. Apparently, there is no English commentary, so it's going to be Japanese commentary, so you're going to have to rely on us to talk wildly over the fucking top of it, so enjoy that. Um, there we go. I stopped it at two minutes twenty. Um, I think if you skip to two minutes and thirty seconds. Okay. Well, I have. It's at the very start. I'm going on the uh, the old fire stick. So, oh, mine hasn't got a video. Mine hasn't got a video <laughs> okay. package. Oh, this my one does. I don't know why. My mine did on the fire stick. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It is. It's like a. It looks like it's the start of a match, but it is. It's like a little video. Oh, package. is it? Oh, fuck yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, right. So two minutes thirty. Are we on? Yeah. Right. I'm on thirty nine seconds. One minute ten. One minute forty. Two minutes ten. Two minutes forty. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Do you want us to skip to two minutes forty? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I'm there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. If you skip to two minutes, I'm on two minutes thirty nine now. Well, one second is going to make no difference. Um, no. we should all be there. So, lads, for our main event today, Hiromi Takahashi versus Dragon Lee, new beginning, 2017. Three, two, one, go. The music is all due to the musical rights. Tell you what, though. <laughs> no, that, Fucking funky that tune, isn't it, that? Yeah, it's one of those things where some of the replacement New Japan themes are just great, like Tenzan's theme. That's all I know Tenzan for. Do you mean Makabe? Makabe, yeah, not Tenzan. I love the fact that they've mixed it even, in that I'm... loudly that it sounds like there has been absolutely no crowd reaction to Dragon Lee whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> That's great mix Dragon in New Japan. my favourite... Dragon Lee's probably my favourite luchador going, though. Lucha, 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 lucha. 
I know, I can't think of anyone I like more. I know you're a massive Phoenix Mark, Rob. I love Phoenix. Hang on, though. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have got English commentary. Oh, dear, yeah, it's Kevin Kelly. Oh, I don't have English commentary. Do you not? I do. I do. Oh. Well, I can't hear him because of the music. I was just going to say, because of the fucking abomination they're making, the fucking trailer mess they're making of uh, mixing this. Oh. Are there, are there crowd pops for it? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> okay, we have very different things going on then because I have um, Japanese comments. Nice, Don Carlos and Kevin Lee. Uh, Kevin Lee. Kevin Kelly. Kevin Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And I've fucking paused for some reason. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, fuck I'll off. mine as well. Shut down and pause it. Right, I'm just going... Four minutes, right, 14, 15, 16, 17. Right, hang on. I'm going to stop it. I'm at four and a half minutes. Okay. Two. Four, 23, 24, 25. Right, let's go, yeah. Okay. Is there... Okay, everyone yeah, go, ready? Go, go, go. Yeah. Takahashi's just coming out. Yeah, same here. Julie's oh, sort of fuck's sake. in the ring. There he is. Oh, he just fucking a love him. Ray Mysterio entrance. I'm like, because this got overshadowed. Um, this match, it was really good, but it got overshadowed because Elgin versus Naito was the main event, and that was amazing. He wishes he was every. Yeah, he and wishes it was he half was an hour, which is why I didn't pick it. <sighs> <laughs> I guess, like, Gav, Gav says this every time we watch anything remotely Japanese. I'll be honest, mate. What he wishes he was real. <laughs> I'll be honest, mate. Takahashi, there is absolutely not a chance he will be around the same long... or have the same longevity as Rey Mysterio. He takes far too many lunatic risks. Oh, yeah, he's a fucking madman. At one, like he d we thought when he came back from injury earlier in the year, we were he like slow down. But then it was that power struggle last year, wasn't it? And he was bumping himself into the barricade just to prove that he wasn't. Yeah, to prove that he wasn't going to slow down. Yeah. And what, I think uh, he injured himself what, doing that. What time are you guys on in? Because mine's just totally frozen again. Oh, for God's sake, um, five minutes <clears throat> forty-five. Oh yeah, the oh, same. Um, yeah, I'm just about there. A couple of seconds behind. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll leave. <laughs> Excuse freezing. Well, it's funny. One of the Ring of Honor shows I went to, um, I ended up sat next to the one person who wasn't there for the New Japan guys and was there for the CMLL guys. Ah. Huh. And awesome. he gave me a massive like history of Dragon Lee versus um, Takahashi, all of which I've completely forgotten. Until tonight. <laughs> No, I still I still don't remember a fucking thing. <laughs> All I know is that like there's half a million matches between these two. Great, remember their match from early in the year, Rob, where we just slapped each other for seven yes, minutes. Yes, I do. It was great. <laughs> that sounds like my worst nightmare. I, no, you you would hate that match, Gav. You would absolutely hate. It. Absolutely. Because literally all we did was choppy overhand chop each other for seven minutes. Because in each um, iteration of this match, we find a new and interesting way to try and murder each other, including the um, G1 special match next year, where they did actually, where Dragon Lee did almost murder her. It was it. horrendous. I know. So is Dragon Lee still in New Japan? Yeah, no. he's, at, he's called Ryu Lee now, because Dragon Lee's a CMLO name. Speaking of slapping, slapity, 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 forearm, forearm. <laughs> it's just the best junior pairing in New Japan, like over the last few years. What, better than Hiromi versus Osprey? Better than Kushida Osprey? Um, better than Kushida Hiromu? <laughs> better than Kushida Hiromu, I'd say about on par with Osprey. Like, but to be fair, Osprey and, Kush and <laughs> Kushida had very different chemistry. Like <laughs> Lucha, Lucha. Fucking hell. <laughs> I, I genuinely thought I just oh, replayed it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell! Oh, that was his suicide dive is so fucking, fucking scary. 
it, he is literally like a fucking he's missile, like a cannon. Isn't he? And he hit the fucking like ropes. Fucking... He's like a salmon trying to go upstream. <laughs> fucking salmon, have you seen do that? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> salmon fishing, have you been doing? So I was in Mexico once. <laughs> no. Um, Hello, so... Okada. Oh, fuck. Fuck off, Okada. I'm trying to escape you. <laughs> oh, I've paused now. Gotta get the golden boy in Oh, for God's sake. It's all right, sake. I'm watch it on my phone. Fuck this. The the right. Are we... no, it's all right. <laughs> just carry on watching it. I'll catch up. It's honestly the New okay. Japan World app is absolute fucking dog shit. It is absolutely dreadful. <sighs> I know. I I'm, and I'm going to protest by continuing to not pay for it. <laughs> yeah, fair. Oh, we've slowed it down. Some rest holds. <laughs> of course they haven't. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Yep. Yeah, this Ooh. really isn't Garth's kind of wrestling, is the I like really fa- really oh, I've I thought really fast and trying to kill each other was like the antithesis of what you No no I, I like it like every now and then. Uh do hey you've had not... it tw- you've had it mm. twice tonight. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, because our Vader match was lightning fast, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, Garth, but Dragon mm-hmm. Lee really likes Shibata. Mm. Couldn't tell. <laughs> what? Oh, nice. One minute on Chris. I don't know um, where, we, where are we. We were on 8, 10 or 5, 10 or 6, um, 10 or 8, 10 okay. or 9, 10, 10. Okay. Oh! Sunset flip, power bomb. That was Ow. lovely. <laughs> like, I don't know who that hurt more. Because he um, landed right on his arm. You, you just, uh, to be honest, after a while of watching Karoma, you just, like, assume it hurts everyone. Jesus. And, like, just move on. Remember the Wrestle Kingdom 12 Fatal 4 Away where he did that to literally everyone in a row? Yeah. Insane. He is. I should hate it because I should be concerned for him, but also I don't think he knows. He's pain. not concerned for himself, so why should be we be concerned? Because <laughs> he's our baby boy. I do love him. I do love him massively. I, isn't he in your top ten favorite? Yes, wrestlers? he is. But to be fair, like it's amazing how someone with such when someone with such a short career does that to you. Like, I was going to say, Arisa did the same thing for me, but you'd call me you a are Mark. Mark. Well, we're both mm-hmm. Marks. <laughs> we host a starting podcast. I mean, you're more of a Mark, but okay. How? I mean, out of the three of us, who owns a Lucha mask? That's what that I is thought. true, actually. <laughs> Big Mark Garth. Yeah. <laughs> Mark E.D. <laughs> Course, it wouldn't be a lucha, it wouldn't be a lucha match without targeting the mask. Trying but to it's, get a disqualif- the rock, huh? it's literally a disqualification in New Japan, as it fucking should be. What if you take the mask off? Yeah, if you take someone else's mask off, you're disqualified. Um, it probably did it because pe- otherwise people would just keep trying to do it to Liger. <laughs> Despite the fact we all know what he looks like. Jesus Christ, some of his face washes. It's like a Samoa Joe match. Do you know what we say? Like, like Hiromu's tights are really a lot like RBD's singlet, aren't they? Yes. Just different yeah. design every time. Like the Dreams? Ooh. Now, nah, the Dream only had a different one for takeovers. Oh! Mm. Oh! Jesus! Fuck you now. There was a match these two had where he did that and he just power bombed him on the apron. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, look at the like, if I was, I, I just thought the Japanese crowd respectfully clapping that. <laughs> He'd be like, "Come on, fucking show some respect." <laughs> you know, it's oh, 
Oofed. That was lovely. Oofed. Nice. Oofed. Don't you wish Rio Lee was hot? Like, no, um... What's going on up there, Garth, mate? Just <laughs> uh, open another wow. beer. Am I the only one not Yes, drinking? you are. You say this every You're podcast. Not I thought it was like a rule now. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Funnier content if we're pissed. Oh, uh, like. No, I just get really ranty when I'm pissed. Ranty when you're sober. It's fine. <laughs> I'm somehow more ranty when I'm pissed. Do you think I want to get Garth still drunk one day, but he just starts ranting about the good old days? <laughs> you don't have to get him drunk, mate. Yeah. <laughs> You just have to mention Noel Gallagher and his new music, and it's like, oh, I'll tell you what, back in the day, Oasis, man. Did you hear the latest about Noel? Oh, it's not great, is it? Turned down £100 million pounds to do an Oasis reunion. You get these stories literally twice a year. It's like, oh. this is from Liam, though. This is from Liam. That was a lot of suplexes. And now Liam's got <laughs> Liam's to make his own cups of tea. <laughs> Liam's got to make his own cups of tea. Did, did you see? Did you not see that? Did you see the the Liam Gallagher like documentary? No, um, I haven't. Where it's like it goes backstage at one of his gigs, and he's like, he's in like one of the tents, and like he's like, "Fuck's sake!" He's like, "When I was in Oasis, I'd have some cunt putting the tea bag in, some cunt putting the sugar in, some cunt stirring it, and then they pass it to us." And he's like making this cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Live, but, like he's just taking the piss, but it's like so stupid. And then all these bar mates are just sitting there in the background, just on their phones. Like, <laughs> Do you think I'm not massive on Liam's like band. It sounds very like thin. Ah, it's just it's just being put together, really, on it. Over because he loves to hit this it's they really don't <laughs> like the fact that the other one has a head, do they? <laughs> yep. Just out, man, out, cameraman. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> That cameraman was not at all ready. Step back. <laughs> Christ, Step I'm, out. I'm just scared with every move. Being... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. Hiromu's there just laughing. Shit, laugh work. <laughs> You can't, that's the thing with Hiromu matches. They're so needlessly violent, but you can't help but laugh. Fuck me. Like, just... See ya. Bye! <laughs> like, this, this place oh, is empty. Oh, Yeet. my God, he lands on his head. Oh, my God, he lands on his head. And, like, ricochets up and down. Oh, my Jesus. God! Fucking oh. hell! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> this is more violent than I remember. I mean, honestly, <laughs> is it any... Is it any wonder that Hiromu broke his neck? Like, at the hands of Dragon Lee. What, uh, what time are you on again, guys? Because it's just frozen again. I forgot to say. 16 um, minutes, 16, yeah. 16, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Right. All right, okay, cool. Um, oh, Christ, he's just... <laughs> Looking at... He doesn't look all there, does he? Oh, look, it's Oka. Hello, Great Okan. And, and Hanare. You're going to live in the mountains soon. <laughs> Garth literally isn't going to understand the Don't word we're saying when we talk about Oka. <laughs> Garth, basically, we had a long-running joke on the young lion that Oka was in the mountains. Fucking hell. What, like monkey? <laughs> the, the legendary yes. monkey. No, that's the thing. We thought he was like heading a monk colony. Oh, love Oof. it! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. love it! Oh, on his head, fucking hell! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I fucking love this. This is oh my god, Spanish this is... war. Oh, oh. God. this is so smooth. This is love such it. a I'm good match. I'm fucking loving this. Did you see this at the time? Um, so this was post Wrestle Kingdom 11, wasn't it? So it was just after Suzuki Goon yeah, came back. This is. Um, yeah. Okada, Suzuki was the show before. No, this. I watched this, then I watched Sakura Genesis, I think was the next show I watched of 2017. Oh, that's a baptism by fire with that shit out of it was. <laughs> Tell me about it. 
I keep wanting to go back and watch that because I know it's great, but also I can't. I just can't. To be fair, all Shabbatha matches are hard watching because he does lay in those headbutts. You can actually hear them. Oof. Ugh. Um. To be fair, though, with like charts, if you survive a Walter match, you can survive anything. <laughs> Oh, Ow. Jesus. But that was like the definition of a shotgun. <laughs> I do. How? <laughs> it oh. seems to me like this is one of those. Oh. This is one of these parents where it's like, it's just a match made yeah. in heaven for both yeah. of them. Just... They've had every single match we've had in New Japan is like. 8 out of 10 plus. They had, like you said though, Chris, they had a load of history in CMLL oh, before Hiromu came yeah, back. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. This is one of those things where they had... Oh um... my god! Oh my god! Oh, on the apron! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Nearly knocked his hat off. Oh, it's just... It's, it's so needlessly we... aggressive. Shouldn't I shouldn't be laughing, but I can't help it. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god! <laughs> everybody in the pool! Everybody in the pool! <laughs> it's like, just come and sit on my head, oh please. Oh my god! I like how like Jushin from the Liga is probably sitting there going, you know, for my retirement match, it's going to be me, me and Sano versus Beast. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Takahashi just sitting there smiling to himself every time he takes these ludicrous bumps. You know, I was worried. You know, Takahashi... you know what? You know what? Uh, Liger's probably thinking. What? He's like, yeah, I had quite a long career because I d wasn't doing shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Have you seen some early Liger matches? They were fucking brutal. Oh no! <laughs> Especially when he changed when he was um, what you call Keishin him? Liger. Oh fucking I! Like some of the stuff he was doing. With... Oh, like, because obviously he's a lot more aggressive. You should watch this match with Aoyagi from 1990. It's fucking brutal. Do that, that and the Sano match. Like, Liger bled like a fucking government mule to steal something from JR. <laughs> <laughs> Do that, our commentary here is probably a bit shy because we've just sort of talked about Oasis for a bit, but otherwise we're just going like, ah, holy fuck. <laughs> Christ. Christ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was lovely, though. That was like an actual, like, lovely piece of wrestling. <laughs> Look at the cameraman just doesn't want to get too close. <laughs> It's been going on so long, we haven't talked about um, Hiromu's furry boots. It's just quintessential Hiromu, isn't it? homage to the Ultimate Warrior, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite bad, because I saw Hiromu at one of the Ring of Honor shows, but it was at the time where Daryl was more over, the little... The little cat. Um, yeah, the cat he'd carry around. To be fair, the match ma was great. It was against fucking Ma uh, Mark Haskins. So... How, this is uncomfortable even three years later, isn't it? Such a good match, though. It's so good. Like, I feel like basically every match in 2017 that wasn't Omega or Okada goes underrated because that's all anyone cared about. Oh. Super kick! B -b 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 Party! Honestly, one to, one of these watch longs you need to pick a young bucks match just to, oh, oh Oh no. Oh, oh that was horrible. <laughs> That's the slowest count in it was. history. We briefly saw Dragon Lee's face.
Is that one of the better masking spots yes. ever? It was so smooth. The only one that is yeah, better one... is Eddie Guerrero nicking Rey Mysterio's. You know what? I, what about Chris Jericho getting that off for 619? It was good. Oh, that's Duke Adaya. Oh, well, I like what the Death Duke Adaya is. It just reminds me of Godzilla. <laughs> Actually, it's probably a Godzilla reference now I think about it. <laughs> I like how just on the side it says Jado. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> I made it. Oh! oh. Oh, oh no. who did that hurt? Both yeah. of them killed well, Hiromu. The, uh, the, these two just don't. As long as it hurts the other one, they'll hurt themselves. <sighs> no, actually, it hurt Hiromu more because <laughs> none yeah, of Dragon Lee hit the landed. floor. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's the one bad part about the slow motion replays in all Japan, all Japan, New Japan. It's bad because I didn't realize for the longest until I saw that spot that Dragon Lee actually has hair. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting sound like, spirit! Sound like a fucking cut. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you hear them yeah. fighting? Oh, <laughs> this is basically what this is. Super kick! <laughs> there we go, that's better. Oh, that's how Oof. you do a destroyer. Yeah, fuck you, Pete Williams. No. Nah. Oh, by the way, do you want to know a fun fact? Do you know what another uh, match um, on this card was that I bet you didn't realise ever took place? Go on. Shabbat of us. Oh, I saw Osprey. that for the Rev Pro title. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now that's a Death Valley driver. <laughs> Time bomb! Time bomb. It's oh, over. such a One, good move. Two, three. <laughs> we have. Oh, no, we're not. <sighs> He's retained. Nice. Outstanding. That was better than. That was much better than I remember. <laughs> that was such a good match. Right, let's pause it there, lads. Um, Chris, talk to us. That was so much better than I remember. Because, again, I think the Elgin versus Naito match from later in the match sort of clouded my memory mm. of this. And, uh, and, like, again, the junior sort of got shoved to one side in New Japan around this time. Like, just because internationally what people cared about was, like, Omega, Akada, Naito. So that is just... I, I have no words. <laughs> there was just so much in that match. Like, they had enough to fill an hour-long match in that 20-minute match, and it somehow didn't feel bloated. The fact as well that it only went 18 minutes, which is mm-hmm. just That's ridiculous. Especially in, like, the modern New Japan landscape where seemingly everyone's given 30-minute matches. Fucking how many 30-minute matches has Zebo had in the last few months? True. <laughs> so, True. So, like, it's weirdly refreshing in the context of, like, current New Japan, despite the fact it's only three mm. years ago. Um... Garth, what did you think of that match? Seeing as you're the one with potentially the least New Japan experience, what did you think? Yeah, it's a, it was a nice little match, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was alright, wasn't it? it was okay. You sounded then like a dad who's just looked at one of their kids' drawings and gone, fucking hell, where am I going to put this fucker now? <laughs> <laughs> you just were going, oh, it's, it's not... It's... <gasps> No, lol of us has done deep. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, it was just like it, it was one of those matches where I had to. It was cringy because I was just like, "Oh fucking hell, man! How are these people not injured?" Well, let me. <laughs> how is on. how is Tarumu not in like a body? God cast? knows. God knows. My question to you, Garth, is obviously we've had this now and we've had Goto versus Suzuki. Which one did no. you prefer out of the two matches? Probably that one, like this one, like for shits and giggles and the thrills. Both very different, yeah. and I like them both for different reasons. I think, but I probably preferred the 
the match tonight. Good. Fair enough. Now, Chris, what are you giving this one? Very, very high nine, verging on a ten. Okay. Garth? I'll go with a nine, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I th- <laughs> it's it's literally it's just missing a ten for me. I I've never seen that match, and I'm a huge Hiromu Mark anyway. Um, but I, I fuck, it's like you said, Garth. Whenever these two, they just have that chemistry. They, they, I don't think they've ever had a bad even the match, which was horrendous because of Hiromu's neck injury. Even that up until that point was a fucking tremendous match. And they just they're just two people that will always put on great matches. This was it had everything. It had heavy ass chops, it had strikes, it had a ridiculous pace. Like they didn't let up for eighteen minutes. You know, we had power bombs on the apron, we had fucking unbelievable <laughs> landings on heads, we had a suplex section. It was great. It was really, really good. Um the best unmasking spot One ever. of the best unmasking spots ever. I'm, I'm not quite sure it's the best. I still think Eddie Guerrero, Nick and Rey Mysterio's pips it, but definitely up there. Um, and lads, that's the end of our watch along for this week. Um, thank you so much for listening, everyone at home. We really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Google Play, YouTube, or wherever you listen, we are everywhere. Leave us a five-star review and a comment. It really does help. Check out the brand new website, www.podmania.co.uk. Brand new look, all clean and all simple. Looks very, very nice. Looks very snazzy. Um, Go and check us out on Twitter, at Podmania. Uh, join the Facebook group, Podmania Podcasts. You can talk to me on Twitter at, at @realrobgoodwin. Garth, where can they find you? At Garth and Mania. Chris... The Garth no, Mania. That's, that's your old one, mate. Come on. Stop trying to divert yeah. traffic. <laughs> where is your Twitter account, Garth? The there Garth we bird. go. And Christopher, where's yours? I, I don't know anymore. Wow. <laughs> That's Dragon Lee Lover. <laughs> He's better than Hiromi, fight me. <laughs> and on that bombshell, we will talk to you guys again. Same time, same place, next week. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Podmania, Facebook at Podmania Podcasts, and YouTube and Instagram at Real Podmania. And check out the website, podmania.co.uk. Until next time, wrestling fans.